Mm -hmm. Those chances I took, those accepting positions that I, like, with budget and accounting, and what is that? Right. They're a bunch of geeks. <laughs> no, they're a bunch of great people. Mm -hmm. And representing them as best I could. Right. And then in Alaska, knowing that I don't care if you live in Dead Horse or Bethel or wherever, you're an FAA employee. You're part of the family. And you deserve to be treated well. Mm -hmm. We got new housing. That had to be hard to get. It was very uh -huh. hard. In some places where we had, we built new housing and, you know, the expensive building in Alaska is much more than Oh, yeah. And the construction Alexandria. season is very short. Yes. Yeah. Mm. No, those were all good decisions. There were painful times, but in every one, there was a lesson. Mm -hmm. And that lesson helped the next situation. Right. And it was important that my children knew, no matter where I was, that I loved them, mm -hmm. and that I was there for them. Mm -hmm. And if somebody was hurt, I had flown overnight to be with the child. Right. Well, they're adults, but they mm -hmm. were child. They were with me. Right. Sure. And husbands, um, I love people, and I love them. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that my career and my, I want to go do that and be there, got in the way. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Right. We're all friends. Mm -hmm. Did any of your children, eight, uh, go into aviation? Just Bill. Bill became a Air Force jet mechanic oh. and uh, on F-15s and 16s. One of the things I did while I was in the FAA, and when I was in the Navy too, I went through the um, training to fly in jets. Mm. So pressure chamber and we called it the ejection seat. Right. We called it the OMIS <laughs> seat. Um, anyway, I flew in a jet when I was in the Navy and I was also a flight, I think they called them flight, flight assistants or something. Mm -hmm. You carried box lunches and and if there were flights over an hour long, you'd fly along, mm -hmm. give a briefing and hand out the box lunches. And then in the FAA, once I was assigned to a facility, I would get to know the military counterparts and mm -hmm. work together. But I've got, I've, I got to fly out from um, Palmdale to the USS Coral Sea at sea. Did that from Norfolk under the Coral Sea when I, I worked for the Navy. I was a historian with the Navy when I started oh, my career. That's great. That was fantastic. And I got to tail hook on mm -hmm. and catapult on. I wasn't in a jet. They didn't. Right, no, it was that little, yeah. Yeah. But still. The cod uh, flight, they called it. That was exciting, yeah. Very exciting. And I um, went ahead and took opportunities on other airplanes. I went on it. B-52, 10 or 12 hour flight, mm -hmm. and they all took bets when I had to go to the bathroom because there was only a, a big can, oh. and I said, no, I don't want any coffee, I don't want any water. Right. <laughs> I made the whole trip, but then when we landed, I said, don't give me that walk around stuff. I have to I find a bathroom. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And I flew in the 135, we did refueling, and... Later, I flew in the F-15 out of Edwards, mm. and I have a photo book of that trip. It was amazing. I flew in the F-102 out of Otis, mm -hmm. the T-38 out of Pease, and other planes. You never got your pilot's license. No. Too busy. <laughs> Too busy. Mm -hmm. But I did get my written. I passed my written, and I just... It, I, you needed money to go for flying lessons, and right. between the kids and work, I didn't do that. Yeah, I can imagine. So back to PwC before we, we finish. Um, so the organization is strong and growing, uh, which is also part of your aviation legacy. Um, what do you hope for the future for PwC? 
I hope that they can really make um, a piercing into the careers for women. The STEM program that is going on, which I'm hearing this morning in the briefing, that we are a part of that, that we are doing what we call ACE camps, aviation oh. career. And I didn't realize you were. They the are. Doing them. Oh, and, right. and I didn't know how much we were doing. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very pleased because had my kids had the opportunity to know about that, except from mm -hmm. what mom says, um, they might have done something right. different. One of my sons is a network administrator wow. in Minnesota at a small college. And one has been in pest control for 35 years. <laughs> and one is a landscaper. And my daughter is an acupuncturist. Oh my gosh. Very, very, but all very necessary skills. Yes, all, <laughs> yes. So what I hope PwC can do is become an option for young women and men mm -hmm. in air traffic control right up with a lot of the other opportunities. Military career, well here's one that's mm -hmm. kind of like that, you might like this. And get in through uh, STEM programs for men and women mm -hmm. who like aviation. Kids love airplanes. And it's just a great opportunity. So for PwC, I hope it continues. I'm so pleased with it at 40 years. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it chokes me up to think that 60 women in 1979 today yeah. are pushing 500 and doing that's, well. That's amazing. You know, at headquarters, um, the agency used to run a mentor program for employees, and when the agency discontinued, PwC actually took that over. Because I give a history presentation every year to, which now they called the PwC Mentor Program, which you know, help with pairs up, you know, sort of more seasoned employees with young ones, sort of to help them get a leg up. And along my career, I mentored men and women, mm -hmm. even at the SES level, and um, they were always appreciated that that I didn't say, well, this is for me only, you know, those. Oh, no, you follow me and everywhere I go and everything I do. Just look, talk. If you have a question, if it's, mm -hmm. you know, need to know, ask. Right. And Fantastic. I was so pleased to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Looking back on your career, what were some of your best moments? Of course, other than starting PwC. I think um, making it through that interview that got me on the list with the hallowed guys who were going to be air traffic managers mm -hmm. and being successful. Um, standing with that different group of men and women in accounting and budget management systems and being accepted by them as well as I said, you know, the more I understand of what you do for the FAA the more I can support you. Mm -hmm. And so I would sit down at a desk and say, what do you do? I bet they loved that. They did. Mm -hmm. And even if they were a little angry about what was happening, you know, when you sit down and you're next to someone, right. the opportunity is there to share that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been great. And the balance of my personal life, right. children, grandchildren, marriage and the FAA, I think I was successful for me mm -hmm. overall. And uh, I never felt like dismayed, there's no tomorrow, you know. Right. If I did, I would think of what, what can I do to make tomorrow better. Very positive, Bea. Mm -hmm. So before I get out of your hair, um, what haven't I asked you that I should have? What have I missed? You haven't missed much, and because I can really talk, I've probably given you more data than you needed to know about oh, I appreciate where I it. went and places, oh, things I did. Oh, very important. But I think it paints a picture, and however you put this together could be part of that, getting those young women and men 
into our organization, mm -hmm. which is so important for the safety of flight. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, back to Orville and Wilbur, and look at what we have today. Oh, yeah. Amazing. And we still have to balance things like 9-11. And look what air traffic did in 9-11. We didn't lose a single plane except those that somebody else was navigating. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's a point of pride to say that FAA is a great, great organization. We may suffer a bit between administrations, but we always find a safe balance. Exactly. That's marvelous. Well, good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Terry. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, John. Yeah, it's been you. fantastic. Very good. So when you, <laughs> when you turn that camera off, I'll run over.